I'm freaking out, man. did a good job with the Yayoi Kusama. Uh, there you go. I really enjoyed it. And uh, I think this is the last one here in the U.S. So uh, if it makes its way out uh, to Europe or somewhere, highly recommend you guys go see it. Awesome stuff. So I just got in. Mail just come in, and I got I gotta put this all up. I just, one sec. Okay, much better. So butter grip. They posted something out about this grip. Um, probably I want to say earlier in December, and uh, we had some really really nasty comments that just floated around on there. Yeah, I know it's the internet. Bill, why did you read the comment section again? Yeah, I like to read it, but I, this one really got under my skin. Not only did we interview uh, Ethan Moses at uh, Camera Dactyl, and by the way, uh, awesome interview. Check it out. Link in the description down below. Um, he's a maker. He's making things, and um, you know, I don't expect everybody to like it, but at the same time, I I got really peeved that people said some really horrible things on something that he's creating and if you don't like it then you know then you just don't say anything I, I don't know so anyway so uh, today at Yayoi uh, Kusama uh, the exhibit there were some things in there like the the infinity mirrors amazing had so much fun but there were things in there that were uh, there were certain things on there that were just I didn't understand but I'm not going to go out there and, and bash her content um, and, and say how dumb or anything along those lines. It's just not appropriate. It's not right. Um, if I didn't find something that I didn't like, I'm just not going to say it. So, uh, you know, that that's just how it is. It kind of reminded me um, that uh, today the, the exhibits and everything like that had a blast. Um, and, and that's what I'm going to latch on to is what the things that I did like and not worry so much about the things that I didn't like or do. I went on Instagram, uh, earlier last week and I said on Instagram, Hey, Ethan, I know you're making one for, uh, your X 700, you're releasing one. So I bought one and the, the agreement was that you had to make one as ugly as possible. All right. Butter grip. Here's the deal. I'm going to buy one. For my X700, but here's the deal. You need to make it as ugly as possible. Deal? I have not opened this yet, so you're gonna catch my reaction as it's happening right now. So hold, hold on a second. 
All right, normally this is done standing up or, or sitting down, whatever, but. <laughs> okay, so, sorry, Ethan, I, I totally cut through it, but uh, th th this is what Ethan said. So, dear Bill, thanks for ordering a grip and allowing me the inappropriate liberties with its design. Uh, when you asked for an ugly grip, I thought, hold my beer. Here is my version of a corn dog stuffed lobster. Please enjoy the grip and box. Uh, all the best, Ethan. Ethan, man, thank you, dude. I... All right, I told him this needed to be the ugliest thing that it needed to be. <laughs> yes. Different layers, the purple, the, I don't want to say that's maybe poop, poop yellow brown and, and a little bit of green on top and pink on the bottom. So this is, this is awesome, dude. <laughs> And and also the uh, butter 35 millimeter uh, film holder. That's awesome, dude. Thank you, thank you. That was very that was absolutely awesome of you. So one of the comments that I found on here that people were saying was, "How could you destroy a classic camera? Like you can, you know, have a uh, a grip uh, for a Leica? Come on." Don't be, don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. Have a, a grip, such an ugly grip for your Leica and everything. It's not the point. Like, if you knew anything about Ethan's work or anything like that, it's, it's not supposed to be traditional. It, it's supposed to be, uh, out there, wacky. Um, I mean, that's the same thing with the, the his four by five cameras. Um, so I'm really excited to try this thing out. And you know, hey, I don't even have a grip for my. Uh, A7 or my A7, my X700, and there you go. So you know, it's ugly as hell, you know. But you know what? I freaking love it. I, I love this thing, man. It actually feels much better on my hand now. So you know, Ethan, great job, man. You're making stuff. Uh, here's the thing: if, if you're you're creating stuff and uh, and you're trying to solve problems out there and you don't like it or anything I'm like that, then don't say anything. You know, move on. And people out there, there's going to be somebody that's going to like it. There are going to be people that don't like it. And uh, you know what, Ethan, man, congratulations on making this. Congratulations with the 4x5. I'm really excited to see your uh, light meter, uh, your 3D printed light meter. I think that one's going to be a home run. Uh, especially, you know, heck, I got... I got my Yashika here. No light meter in this thing here. So, I, you know, I'm really excited. I'm gonna get one for, for my for my uh, medium format camera. So, you know, who cares about how it looks, whether this ugly contraption is is on a, on a, uh, uh, on a Leica or something, whatever, you know, it, it, it serves a purpose. Uh, I think there was somebody that said that they use blocks of wood uh, for it. So, uh, Ethan, congratulations, man. And uh, keep making things. Don't listen to the haters. And uh, congratulations. All right, dude. I'll catch you later.